And now for something completely different. Welcome to a review of the Late Break Show's tour that hit Manchester this weekend. Uh, we came to see many cars and did. And uh, I see now why this guy was called the car pervert previously, because some of these are sexy. Very nice looking cars. Check this Lotus out, for example. Shiny. Anything to add? It's green. Whee! <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, quite right. That totally wasn't take five. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> um, there were many unusual things like this <laughs> Nissan called Apple something else Aaron here. Like um, yeah, it's a really yeah. unusual car. Totally enjoyed the day. We didn't stay very long, actually. We'd seen everything about three times over, I think. And the car I wanted to see, the um, Citroen Ami, wasn't there. Oh, apart from that, it was, good. it was great. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. The venue was lovely. All the cars were laid out. Hodgepodge, which, to be honest, really added to it because you were next to a couple of Bentleys, one like this one from yesteryear. And again, yeah, I get it. Why well, it's cold car pervert. These are just gorgeous cars. Absolutely stunning. I mean, look at the lines on that. Had some age to it. Some engineering. But still manages to look as good as that. Clever stuff. Uh, all very shiny. All laid out, as I say, hodgepodge and so on. Which I think really added to it. I think it was a clever layout, to be honest. Now who, Mr Bond? I expect you to die. So, plenty of shiny cars. Plenty of unusual things. Plenty of retro things. Even a family car we used to own. And even, well, don't drink and drive, kids. But here's a, um, a car that really does beer praises. Here's a Kestrel Roadster. I think we should have asked more questions of the people standing around the cars, to be honest. We'd have found out so much more. What well, is gold, isn't it? Okay, yeah, fair point. Um, it is gold. And black. It was uh, very shiny, too. Anyway, moving on to a real superstar. Here we go. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. So, moving on to a mini metro, a classic. Not many of these left on the roads, I don't think. And that is just wow. Patina is the word, and class. And credibility. Ooh, shiny. So we had a good father and son sort of bonding sesh, walking around, pointing at things we liked and just caught our attention. Um, I think it was a £15 walking ticket for adult, £10 for uh, not adult. And um, yeah, I think it was worth the money. I think there was plenty to see, plenty to look at. Could have got a lot more out of it if we'd have actually asked some questions. Like I say, I wanted to see a Citroen Ami. I'm quite sad like that. Um, just the electric car future, I believe, or something like it. Um, yeah, enjoyed it. If you get a chance to go, go see it. Cracking venue to choose. Um, what I'd call the GMAX as being a bit old fashioned, some convention center it's called or conference thing now. Um, but all in all, enjoyed the experience very much. There were things that were familiar and things that were just out of the ordinary. I mean, just look at the wrapping on this. 
um, like a dull silver. It, for the lack of shine, it actually stood out. Um, really nice looking, even for a Fiat 500. I mean, look at that. Wow. So, oh, a bit of RC action now. Can't miss out on that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Drifters. <laughs> Yeah, that was good fun. Kind of a centrepiece. We saw a lot of people standing around looking at it and thought, wow, yeah, that's a bit of a break, a bit of a change. Must have had really oil slick tyres and the floor was covered in like a velvet material. Mark 1 Nissan Micra under here is going to be transformed. This is Johnny Smith's wife's apparently. Um, it's going to become an EV version. Um, beautiful car, lovely body shell, great retro interior. And this one needs no introduction, does it? All right, it's got no time circuits in, but it's rare to see one of these. And the uh, stainless steel body shell just glistened. It was incredible. Um, didn't realise it was just a two-seater either. And all right, the seats are held with gaffer tape, but take nothing away from that shine and the fact of actually seeing one in the flesh. I've never seen one before in real life. Little and as, but yeah, I hadn't. Cracking car. A credit to its owner. This one looked a bit like the Battle Bus from Fortnite. This one just looks stunning and fast even while it was stationary. Ah, I've been expecting you, Mr. Bond. This van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat.